Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Carvers. I'm Lance and today we are ripping open the KMG box. This box, as you can look in the background, I've gotten a few times before. I used to have a subscription when they were doing subscriptions. And I like to pick one up once in a while off eBay. This one here is the Junior Edition. It's $49.99 plus $6 shipping or $5.95 shipping. Uh, it has four hobby packs, two retail packs, and then you get two hits. They also have a Pee Wee Edition, which has one hit i can't remember what the pack lineup is on the Wee, and then the and then they have the pro edition which i believe is eight packs i'm not really sure or no seven packs i think it's oh no it's eight packs i think it's five hobby three retail and then three hits but anyways so you get the the cool thing about these is the, the hits usually are pretty nice i really like the hits they put in there kind of makes it a little harder to uh price them out though because you don't you know what value are you giving those things so one note is this feels kind of light, so hopefully it's got some great packs in it. So we're only going to get six packs for 50 bucks. Let's see what we can find in here. So. Nice, the hits are on the bottom. So we got 2020 Tops Fire. That's your hobby, a hobby pack. 2021 Update Hobby Pack. Heritage High Number Hobby Pack. There's a Don Russ Retail Pack, I believe. There's a 2021 Tops Holiday. Oh, Bowman Chrome. And there's the Tops Fire. And then our two hits. So we'll just go ahead and save those for last, I guess. So the six packs. Bowman Chrome was probably your best pack. Like I said, I've been buying a lot of these. This updates so like a $5 pack. I actually bought some 2022 Series 1, and they were $6. So at the LCS, I didn't pull anything. But... Uh, there's a nice Jared Kellenick though. Put that up there. The new 2022 Top Series one it kind of reminds me of like classic Coke versus a uh, new Coke. Like they brought new products and everyone didn't like it, and then so okay, well we're gonna bring something back that looks like old fashioned and it's classic Coke and everybody loves it. I mean it doesn't helps that the Wander Franco's in there. Everyone's buying. Moving on this 2021 Heritage High number, so another chance to get a Kellenick out of here. Really looking forward to 2022 Heritage. Love the 73 design. Probably going to get a few boxes of that. Not much in this pack, though. Let's see if I miss anything. Nope, no short number, just a base pack. Moving on, this 2019 Donruss. This has gone up a lot in price. When I first got back, they were like, you could buy a blaster box of this for like 12 bucks or 8 bucks or. I don't remember actually what it was, but it was cheap. Oh, there's a nice card. And a Max Scherzer numbered out of oh, 1,000, 659 out of 1,000, but numbered card nonetheless. Adam Jones, Diamond Kings, and Daniel Polka. Moving on, this 2021 Tops Holiday. Maybe pull a nice SP or SSP. There's a Kyle Hendricks. Fernando Tatis Jr. Clark Schmidt. Going a little slower here because some of that stuff's pretty easy to miss. Oh, not that it's easy to see though. <laughs> Joe Adele wearing the scarf. So I think they put all the SSPs and rare cards on backwards, so that's just a normal SP. There's a Joey Bart rookie card. We'll put them up there for now in the top five. Lorenzo Kane and Dallas Keuchel. So far, so good. Getting a little something out of each pack. Moving on to this Bowman Chrome. Did not get much of this. There's a Sam Huff, rookie card. Mattel Marte, Kyle Lewis, Jesus Lazardo, and a Hora Hayes or Larson. Nothing out of that pack. And let's go ahead and see our hits because we're not going to be able to cover them up anymore. So our hits were a nice Jake Rogers. A little... RPA there. And another autograph. A Sheldon Noyce. So that's pretty nice. I mean, th yeah, that's pretty cool. A couple autographs right there. I'll have to put that in front of the Joey Bart, I guess. And we still got one more pack left. Pops Fire. Well, we got Marcus Stroman. Louis Patino. Oh, we got something in there. Is that a, was that a uh, redemption? There we go, Nelson Cruz. It was a redemption. I don't even know who's a redemption in these. Wait a sec. How can we have a redemption and... Wow, we got back-to-back -back hits. 
We got a Joe Adele Redemption, Scorching Signatures, Autographed Magenta Parallel, and a Double Autograph Pack, a Clark Schmidt. Holy. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting the Top Fire Pack to be the, well, to pull the fire to say, wow, that's awesome. Dang. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The last pack, and a nice Trevor Rogers rookie card, too. Ugh. That's, uh, that's nuts. I'm not going to cover up the Kelamic. I don't really want to cover up. I'll put that in front of noise. So there we go. There's uh, my top five. Well, let me know if you agree with the top five. Wow, I can't believe that Toss Fire pack. Let me know before I um, go, try to go back and think of what, what you thought of the pack selection for that. Like I said, it was $50. Uh, but like I said, it's hard to kind of compare because they do put the hits in there. And KMG always puts good hits in their boxes. Or It's always been my experience. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll catch you next time.